Hello Tea Club members! For this month's special tea, I'm here in Ujidawara and I'm visiting the tea gardens of tea farmer Yamaguchi in the Obuku Valley, which is actually the birthplace of where Japanese sencha was originally invented. The manufacturing method for sencha was invented by someone called Nagatani Soen, and he invented that method just right here in this specific area. So this area is known for how sencha was um, manufactured and it's in the 1700, the 1700s, in 1738 exactly, that the manufacturing method for sencha was um, invented by this specific person. And the Obuka Valley is um, also in Kyoto very known as it is the birthplace of where this person uh, was born and also where he invented the sencha. So the tea that I'm going to be selecting for this month is one that is made in line with the original sencha manufacturing methods. So I'm here with tea farmer Yamaguchi, the farmer of the Yamaguchi Tea Factory and the person who is responsible for making this month's uh, special tea. And what we have here is a, uh, is a tea that was cultivated from native tea bushes and they were not kneaded. There's a kneading machine in the um, processing of the tea and this tea, what is specific about it is that it's not kneaded. This machine has not been used because it's a newer application that did not exist when Sencha was originally invented. Yamaguchi-san,このお茶は何が特別ですか?そうですね、あの、通常だとローリングっていう過程があって、ローリングマシンっていうのがお茶にあるんですけど、それをしないでやってます。なので、香りが、どうですか、自然な香りというか、お
Um, it's only if you start harvesting for a second time in, in around summer and the third time after summer, then you also have to make sure that, well, first you fertilize enough so that the soil is rich and, and there's enough food for the tea bushes to grow. And also then you're going to be harvesting in a season where there are a lot of bugs uh, and they might affect the health of your tea bushes and the health of your crop. So you want to spray pesticides. That, that's basically the vicious circle that is going on. Um, and here they say, well, no, we only harvest in spring and the rest of the seasons we just don't harvest. We only need the first freshest leaf. And so for the later harvest seasons, they cut off the top of these tea bushes and they let the entire garden grow naturally. You can see the amount of grasses and weeds and there are, there are spider webs here. There are a lot of bugs in the, uh, in the tea garden. So this is an, uh, an absolutely natural environment. And here is another very interesting garden. You see the bushes there are very, very little, very tiny. And um, it may seem as if they're very young, but actually their root goes back for over a hundred years. And they've been cut off at the base because this was an overgrown tea garden. And so the bushes, they have been cut off at the base so that they can start regrow fresh branches on an ages old um, root. And of course, because they're not that very large yet, there's not much production of them. And it's, um, well, as you can see, a tea garden that is set out for hand picking. So he doesn't have anything uh, available for sale at the moment, but this is a tea garden where uh, Yamaguchi is producing hand picked tea. And you can see it's a very beautiful area because we've also got the the river here and right besides the river you've got the, the tea bushes which are then nourished with the beautiful and delicious water and actually we've been drinking some of the tea that uh, Yamaguchi-san produced with the water from this river because of course in this area there's no one there aren't many there are a few other tea gardens which are also run by him or someone else who's also doing organic farming so there's not really any um, pesticide or chemical uh, pollution and the water is very drinkable. So this is um, also a very beautiful tea garden and the well the straw in between the bushes is there also to eliminate the growth of uh, weeds and grasses so that you don't have to start pulling them out and there is no need for any chemicals. Okay. <laughs>